Hello all. In this session, we'll discuss the topic RMMM. Here, first time indicating a mitigation, next monitoring and the management. Here we can say risk mitigation, risk monitoring, risk management. Another name for the risk mitigation in the sense risk avoidance. Here the risk mitigation in the sense in one word we can say avoiding the risk. Here the monitoring in the sense a deep insight into the continuous process and the coming to the management in the sense. So here we can consider the different strategies to manage the particular risk. Yes, in the risk mitigation, strategies are developed to reduce the probability or impact of identified risk. So, this might involve avoiding, transferring, mitigating or accepting the risk. And the coming to the risk monitoring throughout the project, risk are monitored to ensure that the mitigation strategies are effective and to identify any new risk that may arise. And the coming to the next, next risk management, this involves the ongoing process of identifying, analyzing and responding to risk throughout the project life cycle. Yes, next we will consider an example using which we can analyze the process of risk mitigation, monitoring and management task respectively. Here we consider the risk as high staff turnover. Here it indicating the employees who are leaving the particular organization. So coming to here, we can consider the risk mitigation steps here. Like what we have to consider for this particular risk. So initially, mingle with all the project members and analyze the factors for occurrence of this risk. And the coming to the next, we will consider prior to the initiation of the project, Try to clear those factors which can be easily resolved. And the coming to the next step, as we go on with the project, devise a strategy which effectively promotes the successful running of project even when the team members are not available. It is to be noted that this step has worked even before the risk has occurred. Yes, next step we have to consider by assuming the staff to be working on different aspects of the project, determine their status and spread this information throughout the project members. And the next, develop documentation in a timely manner and ensure that activity is active throughout the project development and examining the status of all project members. And at next point we can consider on identifying any critical employees associated an additional employee who can act as a backup for such employees. Yes, for this risk, that high staff turnover, in this risk mitigation, we can simply say we have to maintain proper document of the employees who are dealing with the particular project. Yes, let us consider the second thing that is risk monitoring. If we consider the above risk that is high staff turnover, following are the important concept to be monitored. So here we can consider the behavioral as well as various other aspects such as attitude, reactivity of all the project members. And the coming to the second thing we can consider the type of collaboration among the team members and the coming to the next step we can consider monitor the genuine problems with their solutions as well as their positive outcomes and the next we can consider the job requirements within and outside of the given organization. Yes now consider the final instance of RMMM that is risk management and contingency planning. Here it is usually considered that all the above mentioned factors fail that is risk mitigation and the monitor fails and the risk turnover to active. Hence, if we deal with staff turnover as a risk, then its probable effects we can say that the project is running below the scheduled time as many employees had given up their resignation. While implementing the risk mitigation steps, the project leader has done with presenting the information in documents 
maintenance of backup employees and each piece of information is spread throughout the project members now the project leader simply temporarily reschedules the project grants the newcomers to access existing information in simple we can say if he maintains the proper risk mitigation steps at the early stage only so the project leader can be relaxed and follow with the particular project while doing so the new employees acquire the normal speed within less time also the staff members who have planned to walk out of the organization are made to limit their work and start addressing the new employees with the required information as yes, that is all about the rmmm that is risk mitigation monitoring and management hope you understand the session please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all